Why is Amazon so successful? A big part of the answer is A-B testing. Unknown to most users, Amazon customers are subject to hundreds of A-B test experiments every day. And the results of these experiments tell Amazon things like how to lay out its pages, what products to offer you, even what font to use on its buy buttons. A-B testing is ubiquitous on the internet and it informs marketers about what decisions to make and how to present their information. Yet the idea is shockingly simple. It's the advent of modern internet technology that has allowed marketers to implement A-B testing cheaply and easily. And it is the vast number of internet users that allow them to gain statistically significant data quickly. So what is A-B testing and what can it do for you? Let's take a simple example. You have a web page that sells shoes. And you wonder, what would happen if I change something? If I change the color of the buy button, would more people click and buy my shoes? How can I find out? The answer is simple, an A-B test. Make two identical versions of the web page Yet in one, the buy button is red, and in the other, it's blue. When someone clicks to go to the web page, the software will send them to one or the other randomly. Over time, perhaps more people will click on the red buy button than on the blue buy button. That will tell you that it's more successful. A-B testing has three conventions. And the first is that one of the versions that you use is the current version against which you measure potential variations. This is what scientists would call the control state. Second, we like to test one thing at a time. If I change the color of the button and I change the headline on the page, and I get more clicks in this version than that version, how do I know whether it's the button color or the headline which makes a difference? And if it was the button that made the difference, did changing the headline help even more? Or did it reduce the efficacy of the color change? And thirdly, our A-B test is only conclusive if the numbers of people who behave differently on one page or another are large enough to be statistically significant. That means you need to leave it running for long enough for enough people to use it that you can be sure that it wasn't just some coincidence, just the particular people who got sent to one page or another. And it's the third of these conventions that really harnesses the power of the internet because it costs nothing to leave these pages there day after day. And the internet is full of millions and millions of people. Even on a relatively small site, it need not take that long. And it is certainly always possible to gather the data to determine whether the change is significant. And if it is significant, whether it is beneficial or adverse. Of course, the huge players, the big popular sites like Amazon can gather enough data statistically in days, maybe even hours, which means they can make changes rapidly, boost their sales rate and increase their profit. So how do we know if we've got a significant change? Well, crudely, the rule is one over the square root of N, the square root of 100 is 10. What that means is that if you get 100 visits to your site in a month, you need around 10% difference in the behaviors on the two versions. If on the other hand, you have 10,000 visitors to your site, and the square root is 100, 
and you only need a 1% difference to consider that it is significant. And there are three scenarios that can flow from your A-B test. And the first two effectively amount to the same thing. First, you don't get any significant difference in the behavior of version A and version B. What you need to do is to design another test, perhaps with a bigger or significant change. Secondly, the change you make from version A to version B leads to an adverse change in behavior. You get less of the behavior you want to see. This means that you stick with version A and then find another change to test. However, you could get a significant improvement in the behavior when you move from test A to test B. In which case, you make test B your now new standard version of the web page and then you devise some more tests to try to improve upon it further. Can you test more than one change at a time? Well, we've already said that you shouldn't be creating a control A and then a B version with multiple changes because you won't know which of those changes is impactful in creating any change in behavior. But what you can do is you can start with a control A and then you can change number of things to create multiple versions, a B version with one change, a C version with another, and so on and so on. This is usually known as split testing. If you have enough throughput to your website, this makes sense. You can be running multiple AB tests simultaneously, AB, AC, AD, and so on. And big organizations are doing this all the time. And increasingly, the software is available for small companies to include this in their website. So what can you split test or A-B test? Well, the answer is pretty much anything. It's only limited by the software you have on your website, which doesn't limit you very much. And the imagination and creativity of your team in coming up with new variations. Things that we commonly A-B test include things like headlines, key messages, and the copy that we put onto our web page. By the way, as well as A-B testing on web pages, we can do the same with social media adverts, real world adverts, and emails as well. We can also split test individual design elements like fonts, colors, layouts, and sizes. We can split test audience targeting who we aim our adverts at, and we can split test marketing automations too. We can split test what time of day we make promotions and what promotions we offer. Of course, we can also split test pricing to look at the impact on profitability. But you may be a manager asking yourself, what's the relevance of A-B testing to me? And the answer is, it's not the marketing necessarily, and it certainly isn't the technology behind it. It is the big idea. Because even if you are not a professional marketer, using A-B testing to hone your marketing messages and the way you deliver them, as a manager, you can be A-B testing all sorts of things within your team. How you do different tasks, how you treat people, anything that might increase effectiveness, the efficiency, the productivity, and even the profitability of the work that your team does. A-B testing is a brilliant and simple idea. And it's based in science. Please do give a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. I'll be creating loads more great management courses content for you. So please do subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss any of it. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. And in the meantime, keep learning.